In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can build a full software application in only a few hours. And the craziest part is we're gonna do it without writing a single line of code. However, even though we won't be the ones writing the code, the software application actually will be built with code in the background. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. And also at the end of the video, I'm gonna share a way for you guys to make some money with me that is gonna be literally free money for you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sign up for create.xyz and we're gonna make a free account. I'll put the link in the description and let's go ahead and make our account and walk through that. I'm gonna go ahead and build a software idea generator. So I'm gonna put in my prompt. And so I'm gonna say, I want to build a software idea generator utilizing Anthropic. Details allow the users to choose between popular categories to generate an idea. The category should be, give them some options. If the user likes an idea, allow them the ability to save the idea, but they have to add their email, save their email address inside of, I think I have to make a new database. So we just hit the slash. You can see all the different integrations here. There's a ton, um, but we will go to data and we will do uh, saved idea. And so then we'll do, after someone saves their idea, they can use this uh, function, which I don't think I've built that function um yeah so i'll just uh delete that right now and we'll just start with uh this so let me hit generate okay boom so as you can see now it's built it right here select the category um so now we are in demo so if we click on let's go sales and then generate an idea okay boom so now it gave us this uh idea here's the software in the sales category intelligent sales analytics platform Yada, 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 yada. We can see the idea. Now let's say I want to save this idea, enter your email. Now all I have to do is put in an email, hit submit, and we're now save that, as you can see here, idea saved successfully, and my email is now inside of this database. So this is just one page from a prompt. And so basically what you can do is um, basically you have pages, you have pages, components, functions, and you know databases. Then you can also play around with style guides. So let's say I wanted to, change up the style. I could select any of these, or if you have create business, you could actually make your own custom uh, branding. But so next, let's say we want to take this a step further and we want to basically run a function. So let's do a new function. And so let's do when someone saves an idea, take their idea from, and then we'll go to the, our database. So take their idea from here, and then another integration, just do uh, Google search and then do a Google search. Um, five competitors of their, of their idea and share them. Okay. So this is how you can create a function. You hit generate and it's going to build this function. Okay. So now you can see here's the function. Save idea, search, extract top five competitors, return the message just like that. Now, the other thing that we can do over here, um, and let me put this back in build mode, is you can come into like a component, for example, and you can go to design, and you can basically play around with these. Now, you do have to upgrade um, to be able to basically, because then you can change the width, the height, the padding, the background color um, to customize these components. Um, but that's something that you're able to do, and as well as if you upgrade, you will have, as you can see down here, you have all these different options. When you click on each one, it will give you a different variation of the build. It'll look a little bit different, okay? And so, like I said, you also have the ability to just create new pages easily, new databases, new functions, um, style guides, and then it is writing all the code in the background. So you can view the code here and you can actually edit it directly from inside of here. So if you know how to do that and you wanted to do that, you could just come in here and make changes to the code. But that's how you can use Create to build something super simple like this. You know, a software idea generator that like I could use as a lead magnet for one of my companies, right? Um, as well as you can come into here and if you wanted to have like a login page, sign up page, etc., you can just enable user accounts. Oops, sorry. And then you just hit add user accounts. And then it'll also give you a database that stores all your users, continue building, and boom, it'll do all of that for you. And so then you will be able to actually have people sign up and it'll store all their information. And you can also edit what pages people should have to be signed in to view, et cetera, et cetera. So like I said, this is a really awesome tool for you to build things. Um, you know, whether it's a lead magnet, whether it's a landing page, whether it's a basic software application, um, you know, create mockups and boom. 
just like that, I was able to build a software idea generator and we could even take this a few steps further where we could you know, add some integrations to where we can pull reviews, we can have it do a SWOT analysis on the idea. There's a lot of extra steps that we could take with this, but that's the gist of how you can build applications using Create. And so now I wanna to talk to you guys about how you can make money with me. So the team over at Create is launching a challenge of who can build the coolest use cases with Create. So whether you're building a website, whether you're building a tool like I just built, whether you're building like a quiz for a lead magnet, whatever it is that you build, all you have to do is sign up for an account with Create, whether it's a free or a paid plan, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to build something again, whether it's a tool, a lead magnet, a website, whatever it may be. And then you are going to share what you build on YouTube with one of our suggested titles. All the information is linked down below in the description of everything you need to do to enter into the Create Challenge. And then in two weeks, we are going to select three winners to get a free year of a Create plan. And so if you guys are interested in joining this Create Challenge, again, all the information is linked in the description and all my other links are there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.